Can this QuickBooks video simplify your financial management? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. It will be my pleasure to guide you through the process of handling recurring transactions in QuickBooks Online. Recurring transactions are a remarkable feature in QBO that can save you time and ensure consistency in your financial records. Let's embark on this journey together to master this functionality with precision. To begin, navigate to the Settings menu by clicking the gear icon in the upper right corner of your QBO dashboard. From there, select Recurring Transactions under the List section. This will bring you to the Recurring Transactions page, where you can view and manage all your recurring entries. To create a new recurring transaction, click the New button, which opens a drop down menu with several options such as invoice, expense, journal entry, and more. Choose the type of transaction you want to automate. Let's take the example of setting up a recurring expense. Select Expense from the drop down menu. In the Recurring Expense screen, fill out the necessary details such as the template name, type such as Scheduled, Reminder, or Unscheduled. You can fill out a certain number of days and write them here, select relevant payee, and the amount. Then, fill in interval, for example, daily, weekly, monthly, and so forth. And finally, the start date. You can also choose the payment method against this expense from the option here. In the Payee field, select or create a new vendor. For instance, imagine setting up a monthly recurring expense for office supplies purchased from Office Depot. Enter Office Depot as the payee, choose the expense account, such as office supplies, and enter the amount, say $200. You can also specify the payment method and add a memo like monthly office supplies order. If the expense is split between multiple accounts, you can add additional line items to allocate the amount correctly. For example, if $150 is for office supplies, and the balance of $50 is for printing services, add a line for each category. Once done, you can click on Save Template. Now, let's explore setting up a recurring invoice. Select Invoice from the drop down menu. Suppose you have a monthly subscription service that you bill your clients for, such as monthly IT support. Fill out the necessary details such as the template name, type, such as scheduled, reminder, or unscheduled. You can fill out a certain number of days and write them here. Select relevant customer and email. Then fill in interval, daily, weekly, monthly, and the start date. Enter the product or service details. Add a memo if needed like monthly IT support and maintenance. After filling out the details, you have three options to choose from. Scheduled, Reminder, and Unscheduled. Selecting Scheduled means QBO will automatically create the transaction on the specified dates. Reminder will prompt you to review and approve the transaction before it is recorded. Unscheduled allows you to save the transaction as a template that you can use manually whenever needed. Once you have made your selections, click Save Template to finalize the recurring transaction setup. You can always edit or delete recurring transactions by returning to the Recurring Transactions page and selecting the appropriate action from the drop-down menu next to each entry. For example, if you need to update the amount for your monthly office supplies expense, simply click Add it and make the necessary changes. 
Regularly review your recurring transactions to ensure they remain accurate and relevant to your current financial situation. This proactivity ensures that your financial data stays up to date and reflects your business's actual activities. By effectively utilizing the recurring transactions feature in QBO, you can automate routine financial tasks, reduce the risk of errors, and free up valuable time to focus on more strategic aspects of your business. Imagine the peace of mind knowing that your monthly invoices and expenses are handled seamlessly, allowing you to concentrate on growth and innovation. Thank you for joining me in this module. I hope these steps help you streamline your financial processes in QuickBooks Online with ease and elegance. Don't let your momentum stop here. Check out our recommended playlist for more helpful videos to boost your skills. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content.